Types of aircraft engines. There are five main types of aircraft engine. One turbojet engine, two turbofan engine, three turboprop engine, four turboshaft engine, five ramjet engine. Number one, turbojet engine. Turbojet engine was firstly built, developed by British and German aeroscientists during World War II. Turbojets fly in the sky through the air with the push of powerful gas. The concept used in aircraft with a turbojet engine is very easy and simple. The engine of an aircraft takes the air from the rear side of the engine and then compresses it in the compressor. But at the same time, it is necessary to add fuel to the combustion chamber and burn to increase the fluid mixture temperature by 1000 degrees. Because of this process, hot air is produced and passed from the turbine, which rotates the compressor. The pressure created when the turbine gets discharged should be twice the pressure in the atmosphere although it depends on the level of efficiency of an engine that is used in the aircraft. The imprudent pressure then transfers to the nozzle by which gas streams get generated. Number 2. Turbofan Engine Turbofan Engine Using a big fan in aircraft makes it easy to intake air. Turbofan engine is designed in such a way that it combines features and technology of turboprop and turbojet engine. Turbofan engines have some benefits like producing thrust at low speed. First aircraft company was Boeing, which used turbofan engines while mounting its 737-300 aircraft, starting in the 1980s. In 2018, the big GE-9X turbofan engine was built to power aircraft like the 777X by the company Boeing. Turbofan engines come with big fans to suck the air. While using a turbofan engine, the airflow is from the aircraft engine's exterior, to give the aircraft more power to fly in the air. Nowadays, most airlines get power from turbofan jet engine. Air enters the turbofan jet engine and flows from a generator that produces hot air. A generator in an aircraft is made up of a turbo turbine combustion chamber and a compressor. Less air will pass through the engine turbofan and reach the combustion chamber. The remaining air will pass through the compress, which has low pressure or pass by a fan. Afterward, it will be mixed with gas produced, or otherwise, it will eject directly. The main reason behind this process is to produce power at the same time they are trying to maintain a consistent level of consumption.